Israel's military said Friday that a deadly attack on a World Central Kitchen humanitarian convoy that killed seven of the organization's members was a serious violation of its policies after the airstrikes prompted global outrage and a rare rebuke from the Biden administration. The findings of the Israel Defense Force's own investigation, presented in a seven-paragraph statement, were unusual for the speed with which they were released. Four days after an IDF drone repeatedly struck the three-car convoy on a coastal road in Gaza used as a humanitarian corridor. The statement said the attack was the result of errors and was contrary to military procedures, adding that two officers would be dismissed and commanders reprimanded. World Central Kitchen, in a statement Friday, said the findings were an important step forward, but that the IDF cannot credibly investigate its own failure in Gaza. We demand the creation of an independent commission to investigate the killings of our WCK colleagues, it said. The attack on Monday highlighted the perils facing aid workers navigating the world's worst humanitarian crisis during Israel's punishing military offensive in Gaza. More than 180 aid workers have been killed, according to the United Nations. The deaths of the WCK employees and volunteers, six of them foreign nationals, including one American, have prompted a reckoning regarding Israel's military tactics in a way that strikes that have killed Palestinian civilians have not. The IDF statement said a commander, mistakenly, assumed that Hamas gunmen were present in the convoy's vehicles and that Israeli forces also failed to identify the vehicles as belonging to the WCK. The investigation's findings indicate that the incident should not have occurred, the statement said. The strike on the aid vehicles is a grave mistake stemming from a serious failure due to a mistaken identification, errors in decision-making, and an attack contrary to the standard operating procedures. In a separate briefing for reporters Thursday. The IDF said the biggest mistake was that the operators of the unmanned aerial vehicle tracking the convoy were not made aware of the aid convoy's coordination plan. And although WCK vehicles are marked with the organization's logo and name on their roofs, that logo was not visible to the cameras tracking the vehicle at night, said Yoav Har even, head of the IDF fact-finding and assessment mechanism. He called that a key factor in the failure. The IDF said three procedural rules were violated. The official coordination plan was not communicated from the top to the ground. The airstrike targets were confirmed only by seeing an armed man, which it said was an insufficient standard, and the shooting continued from one vehicle to another when the operator saw people running from the first vehicle after it was struck.